guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel for another video. Boy, do I have a story. Wow, my hair. Welcome back to my channel for another video. This is another story time that I wasn't planning on making. It's kind of scary, kind of intense, kind of interesting. I don't know how to else to put it, but this is a story time of something crazy that has finally happened to me in my apartment in Flagstaff. So... If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more story times. I know you guys really, really love seeing story times. So I'm trying my best to have crazy stuff happen to me so that I can tell you guys more intense stories. So let's just pray that something crazy happens to me before the end of this semester and hope that I live to tell it. That's important. <laughs> if you're brand new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Ashley or Elenade. I go by Elenade because that's my channel name, but my real name is Ashley, welcome. You should totally hit the subscribe button right down there, the little red button that says subscribe, just click that. And then while you're at it, turn on post notifications, this little bell next to the subscribe button, you just click that and you will be notified every single time that I upload and you'll never miss on a video. It'll be super, super exciting. And yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, this video takes place October 27th, 27th. It was a Friday. This was a Friday. I want to say, maybe it shows the time on here. It was the morning. Okay, it was definitely, it was the morning. As you can see, it shows Flagstaff, October 27th, 9.54 a.m. That is how I know what time this took place and when it took place, the day and time, and all of that fun stuff. It was 9.54 a.m. Actually, it was a little before that because when I took the pictures, it was 9.54. So it was a little before 9.50 in the morning. My roommate was gone. I was completely home alone, and I hear a loud knock at my door and immediately I was thinking there is no way I'm gonna answer the door normally when I'm home alone I don't like to answer the door by myself just because of I don't know safety reasons or like I don't know I just don't like opening the door because that means I have to socially interact with people and I don't like that I'm in my room when I hear the knock and at first I don't get up because I'm just gonna I'm thinking to myself I'm just gonna pretend that no one's home and they can just come back another time in my head I I was thinking I did not call maintenance. I did not call anyone to come and look inside the apartment for any special fixes or something that needed to be fixed. I was not aware of my roommate having any friends over because she was in class and I knew she was in class and usually she would come home with her friends already with her. So in my head, I was thinking this seems really sketchy. So I didn't go answer the door. That all happened in a matter of seconds, by the way. A few minutes later, I hear another knock at the door, but this time it's more of like a bang. A it's almost like a answer the door, I know you're home kind of knock. That's what it almost sounded like, but I'm pretty sure he was just a little frustrated because no one was answering the door, but he, I don't know. He can't get frustrated because he didn't know if anyone was home, so. <clears throat> when I heard the second knock and it was a lot louder and more frustrated of a knock, does that make sense? I don't know if that does. I got a little bit more scared of the situation and that's when I decided to just keep hiding in my room and instead of looking into the peephole, I looked out my window and when I looked out my window, my shades were closed. I will insert a picture right here. That's exactly what my shades look like. It was completely closed. I looked through the crack on the side, which I'll insert another picture for you to see what I could see. And right, I'm going to circle it for you, but right in that little circle that you can see right there, I saw a man in a blue shirt sitting down on the curb right outside my window. I was a little sketched out, of course. I was like, why is there a guy sitting on right in front of my window? I don't know. My first thought, because I watch a lot of these creepy kind of videos, I started trying to rationalize it in a way that made no sense to little old Ashley. So I was thinking, he looks like he's on his phone and he's texting someone. Maybe he's texting someone who wants kidding at me like she's not answering the door no one's home or something like that I don't know a few more minutes go by I'm just kind of sitting in silence in my room and that's when I decide to look out my window again and he's not he's no longer there he's gone so I'm thinking oh good he left finally because I mean he was sitting there for quite a while I don't even I don't know how long exactly it was but he was sitting there for a little while and finally I go over to the people I look out the people and there's nothing there there's no one there so I'm thinking oh good I'm safe. This is wonderful. I called my mom and I told my mom everything that I just told you. She told me to call the office and ask him about it, but I didn't do that until a few days later. But then I texted my roommate and I asked my roommate if 
she had anyone stopping by that that person could have been and she told me no she was in class so obviously no one was gonna come by because she was in class i was like okay so i know for a fact it was not someone my roommate knew little paranoid ashley did not decide to rationalize it thinking it could have been maintenance or something so that is pretty much what exactly happened now i'm going to get into what i found later so later on that afternoon i decide i wanted to go to the gym so i get dressed put all my gym stuff on and get my water I'm getting ready to leave and I open the door and on the door because on my front door I do not have a picture of this but on my front door there's like a little cliff where I get where you can like clip a piece of paper to or something there was a note I'm guessing this is what that guy was writing when he was sitting down on the curb in front of my window I'm guessing he had torn a piece of paper and just started writing on it as a letter and then put it on the door there that is the letter that was on my door first reading it over I'm thinking to myself oh it was just maintenance I'm overreacting whatever if that were the case I wouldn't be making this a story time I sent a picture to my roommate and my roommate kind of just said lol in my head I was thinking why are you laughing I was really scared because when it first happened I don't know who it was who it could have been there was no way I was gonna answer the door when I was completely home alone so I go to the gym I do my stuff and I come back and I'm looking at the letter a little bit more I say the letter for myself I left it in my room so my roommate wasn't able to get a hold of it and I was kind of going over this letter and a few days later maybe it was a few days later I think it was Saturday and Sunday I was kind of looking at this letter on and off and Sunday I really decided to dig deep into this letter now I'm gonna pull up the letter on my phone so I can actually see what it says okay so I'm going to read this now when you first read it you're thinking oh it's bro it was just maintenance like whatever but when I read it out loud it doesn't make as much sense so here we go hello this about the wireless plus call me I need to look inside thanks NAU telecom Sam and then number I might actually blur the number out so you guys can't really see it when I was rereading this letter I noticed a few things first of all this about the wireless that is complete improper grammar I'm trying to rationalize it in a way of thinking maybe he didn't have time to write down a thoughtful letter to let me know why he was there so he was just speed writing this letter down but first of all, this about. I mean, you didn't have an extra second to write this is about, you know? I don't know. And then when I first read this about the wireless, I didn't know what he meant by wireless. Later on, I did figure out what it could have been. It could have just been the router in my apartment that's above my fridge, or my printer may have been giving off wireless signals when it shouldn't have. I don't know, something like that. Second, please, plus. Plus, call me. I need to look inside. First of all, please is misspelled, obviously. Plus, please call me. I need to look inside. Now, from past experiences of talking with customer service, talking with maintenance workers at my school, you know, all of that stuff, the person I'd be talking to would usually say, give us a call back or call us back. Something, something with us because it's a company. So you would think there would be a call us back, not call me back. That and I need to look inside. I don't know, just hearing I need to look inside. Do you really, sir? Do you really like that right there? Just screams like red flag for me. I don't know. I just, it seems like it would say we need to look inside or something like that and then thanks and then you telecom Sam and then his number now the fourth red flag is the number I looked up the number on NAU because most of the time actually not most of the time all of the time if someone is working for NAU in a special company like maintenance telecom student services or whatever the number will be listed on the NAU web page I looked this number up on the search bar on the NAU web page and zero search results came up zero no search results whatsoever and immediately I was like hmm okay that definitely screams another red flag and what I did to try and debunk this I searched NAU telecom and a whole list of numbers and people came up now on the back of this paper there was a name Sam and I will not say his last name because one I don't know how to pronounce it so I searched the name so the name that is on the back of this paper because on the back of this paper this note that I got on the door was a printed sheet something that had previously been printed so I searched the name and I found him I found this guy's names the reason this is a red flag for me is because the numbers did not match up so the numbers on the website when I searched for Sam on the NAU webpage a number did come up 
but it was not the number that was on the note that was on my door. And I was going through, I decided to search any telecom again, and I decided to look at all of the numbers to see if any of them matched the one that was on the letter, and I also searched for if there were other Sams on the list. First of all, the Sams, Sam that I searched previously, that was the only Sam. So there were no other Sams that were working for any U Telecom. Every single number looked nothing like the number that was given to me, that was written down on this note for my door, that was on my door. But this number did not show up under any U at all. That only goes to tell me it was either a fake number, a tracker phone number, or it was a personal cell phone number. The reason I did not call them back right away to come check the wireless or whatever that was inside my apartment that needed to be checked, if it was a fake number and just someone's cell phone who was just trying to get into my apartment, if I called the number, they would have my number. Instead, I decided to go to the office of my apartment complex and talk to the RAs that were all there and ask them if it was legit, if this note, if this note was legit. It was the day I was doing laundry, so I went and did my laundry, and before I left to go back to my apartment from the laundry room, I went to the office and I decided I was going to ask them in the office if this note was legit. If someone was actually going around checking for wireless issues or wireless whatever and just see if it was, you know, legit, whatever. I see a girl, a girl who's working there. There was a lot of people in the office. There were several guys and I think one or two girls, maybe one girl. I don't remember exactly, but that doesn't really matter anyways. But I go to the girl and I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I got this note the other day and I wanted to come up here, I don't know, the whole situation just seemed sketchy to me and I wanted to make sure this note was legit, that if there was someone actually going around checking for wireless, whatever. So she was reading the note, her face, literally this is exactly what her face was doing. Let's pretend my phone is the letter. So she was holding the letter. That's exactly what she was doing. She looked confused at the letter as if she was thinking to herself, what is this? Why did you get this? You don't need this or something. There's nothing of the sort that's going around, whatever. So that right there, I was thinking to myself, oh good, so this wasn't legit. Okay, that's cool. She handed it to the other guys that were in the office with her and all of them were reading it because I'm pretty sure they were thinking, oh no, someone's in trouble. We gotta figure out the situation. We gotta take control. I don't know. My RA was reading the letter and he was kind of explaining to me, if it ever happens again, if you see any other letters on your door, let us know, give it to us. And he also told me that there were some guys, some maintenance workers going around checking for wireless in case some things were giving off the wireless signals because that was when he asked me if I had an Xbox or a printer. I said I had a printer and he said to make sure it's not giving off wireless signals. That I was like, okay, that makes some sense. But my computer, printer, what? My printer. You have to personally set it up with your computer to give off wireless signals. It will not work in print, one, if it's off, obviously, and if it's not connected to my computer. So I was thinking, okay, that that still doesn't make any sense to me, but okay, whatever. I'll make sure that it's off or just, you know, double check just to be on the safe side. So I leave, I go back to my apartment and I check my printer, make sure it's off, which it definitely was because I did not have it set on wireless at all. And after that, that was literally the end of all of that. Like literally nothing else happened. Now I'm gonna go into some more red flags that I noticed after all of this happened. The first thing is that no one ever came back to my door. No one ever made a follow-up to check on the wireless. I mean, a few weeks later, some guys, some maintenance worker guys came by to fix our bathroom and the heater and that was it. Nothing sketchy happened there, but that was because my roommate called them, so I wasn't really like sketched out about that at all but the fact that it never happened again I never got another letter never got an email never got a follow-up never got anything from this guy which first of all according to my RAs I forgot to mention this according to my RAs I should have gotten an email from maintenance to check my wireless saying that they were going to come by to check my wireless and I never got an email the number one reason I am making this a story time is because in September so a month prior to this every student at NAU got an email. I will insert it right here so you can see the email because I still have it saved. Every student got this email that is talking about crime alert on campus. Basically, some guys were dressing up as maintenance workers to try and get into students' rooms. That is obviously not good. 
at all. <laughs> that is a very scary situation. And that is the main reason I made this into a story time because for all I know, I could be overreacting and this could have just been maintenance workers and when I turned off my wireless on my printer, maybe that canceled the wireless signal in my apartment and no one needed to come by. I don't know for a fact. This is just something super scary and I wanted to make this story just to warn you guys in case something like this ever happens because I know I have some older viewers, some younger viewers, if you're getting ready to go to college or if you're in college or if you're living on your own or something, just be cautious, I guess. For all I know, this could have been just a very simple misunderstanding that from my part and this could have been literally just maintenance wanting to check the wireless signal in my apartment. I don't know. But the fact that no one came by as follow-up, I never got an email and the number did not match with any other numbers on the website is the reason that I was sketched out about this and I don't know. Everyone in the office, all the RAs were completely confused by it and they had no idea why I got the letter. So I really have no idea if this made any sense. This is almost 30 minutes long. I just blabber and blabber and blabber. This is something super scary and I never thought it would ever happen to me because I, know, I don't know, me thinking to myself, why would something bad ever happen to me? You know, I don't know. I feel like we all think that to ourselves, but you know, scary stuff like this can definitely happen. And I definitely recommend being fully aware of your surrounding, of people that come by your apartment or your house or just come in contact with you in any similar situation or something, anything like this. But anyways, that is it for this video. Definitely was not planning on making this in story time at all I have and it stopped recording so I'm back <laughs> as I was saying I don't know where I just left off the situation was super sketchy super scary I didn't understand what was actually happening if you guys like this video then give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful if you've ever been in a situation like that and it actually ended up turning out to be something really sketchy and super should not have happened kind of thing let me know in the comments down below but tell me your story because I want to know if this has ever happened to you anyways I don't know what else to say except if you're brand new to my channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below Hello. I love and welcome all new subscribers. I'm trying so hard to get to 200 subscribers before I graduate from university, which is in May, and I'm going to be talking more about that later. Turn on post notifications. The little bell next to the subscribe button. Just click that and you'll be notified every single time that I upload and you'll never miss out on a video. And follow my social media. I'll link it all down below. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out. This is my